Hey guys, welcome to another cup final special. It's the Carabao Cup final this time, a competition we haven't yet won at Leeds. We've only won the FA Cup so far, on top of obviously playoff victory in, uh, in our championship days. But I'm desperate to uh, add another trophy to our cabinet. And if we can do that today, ahead of hopefully winning the Europa League this season as well, and still trying everything we can, uh, they're as tired as we are, Arsenal. My full strength, full strength 11 isn't at full strength, so to speak. Um, but, yeah, I'd love to add the Europa League, and we're still going to try our absolute best to challenge for the Premier League title as well, although we are uh, a significant chunk away from Liverpool at the top of the table. That's the state of my first Team 11 right now, and the, the rotation 11 is pretty healthy, but I'm probably going to start with the rotation because... We should still be good enough to beat Arsenal, despite their lack of stamina. Then I can sim Barnsley in tomorrow's episode with the rotation side. Sim Cardiff tomorrow with the full strength side. And then play both games against Sporting and Liverpool. And not have to worry about stamina on uh, on any occasion there. We should, provided we beat Barnsley, have another FA Cup tie drawn at, towards the end of March, I would imagine. As opposed to anywhere in April for the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, but we'll wait and see. We'll just play it by ear, but we're going to start today with the... Obviously, as you can tell, the suit is on, and it'll be a one-game special for the Carabao Cup. Please do show your support for the channel continually by watching all of the videos, dropping the videos uh, a thumbs up as and where possible as well, and of course, making sure you have that notification bell ticked. It's a tough time for everybody right now uh, financially. That includes us YouTubers as well. Yes, views might be slightly up for most people. Although for me, actually, views have actually, despite initially peaking, have now dipped lower than they were before uh, the COVID-19 situation. And also, ads aren't paying anywhere near as much as they were because obviously people aren't going out and spending their money. So YouTubers are being hit just as much as anyone else. Uh, but obviously, we're still waiting for guidelines for... Uh, self-employed people or full guidelines for self-employed people and people that are set up like I am as an individual company, a limited company as opposed to being outright self-employed. There are different rules for people like myself. So uh, at present, myself and a number of other YouTubers are seeing drops in our, drops in our income of up to or in excess of 50%. And at present, we're not able to claim the of people in my position at least aren't able to claim the 80% available that the government is offering. So please do continue to show your support, not just for me, but for all of your favorite YouTubers. Continue to watch their videos, make sure you watch them throughout, and you know, don't skip ads, etc. And we'll be able to continue to bring you the uh, the full content that uh, you want to see. It's not a beg or anything like that, it's purely just to continue to show your support on the ch on this channel and across the platform. To your favourite YouTubers, we need your help more than ever uh, to ensure that we can continue to pay our bills as well as uh, you guys can continue to pay yours with the help you guys are receiving from the government and or, of course, not being at school, etc. right now. So let's jump into the uh, the game against Arsenal here at Wembley. Of course, let me know your feedback in the comment section down below with regards what you think the scoreline is going to be. I'm going to say that we might win this by three goals to nil. I'm not that worried about Arsenal, and they still only have Matt Macy in goal. You guys were on board with giving them one, or trying to give them one of my goalkeepers. I won't use the functionality in the realism mod to just transfer a player um, and edit the squads, because occasionally that can bug out. So what I'll try and do in January, in the, the summer even, is try and transfer one of my goalkeepers to Arsenal uh, via the player swap functionality, and of course... Hopefully, we'll be able to get either Miller or Castro to Arsenal and they'll have a decent goalkeeper because still they only have the 71-rated Matt Macy. So, um, huh, they're up against it, Arsenal. We beat Liverpool by four goals to nil over two legs. They beat Brighton by three goals to two over two legs. They're still threatened by relegation in the Premier League, Arsenal. So, I'm not expecting them to... Uh, to have a full strength 11 here to be fair they need to prioritize elsewhere though maybe this is a welcome distraction for them from the troubles they've had in the league we'll see the lineups here now only probably be able to see the lineups on that screen i imagine when we go to the other one it will all say undefined 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 and we'll find out in a moment oh there you go ea are aware of it they're working on a fix we just don't have one yet it's a, an issue in ultimate team as well as 
uh, career mode. So it's it's a FIFA issue, not just a career mode issue. And let's wait and see then what the Arsenal eleven is going to look like. Half and half with regards to the uh, fan split at Wembley, of course, for a cup final. Uh, Macy, Bayerin, Carlos holding Tierney, Adley, Willock, Neres, Saka or Cellini, Martinelli. Folland on the bench. Rashitza on the bench. Maitland-Niles on the bench, no longer in goal. And they do, of course, have our former loanee, Eddie and Ketia, on the bench as well. I don't know what their stamina levels are going to look like. I'll have a look when the uh, things pop up now. No, they appear to be at full stamina. So we are going to have to make sure that we use our substitutions wisely. But certainly playing with this 11, a tired first string 11, is definitely the best way for me to be able to work the upcoming busy fixture list. So I'm still confident we can get the victory here against Arsenal. And hopefully we will be able to do that. I won't be too devastated if we aren't able to win the Carabao Cup. But obviously it would be nice to add another trophy to our cabinet. But the league campaign and the European campaign are certainly more important right now for us. And arguably more important for Arsenal as well. Considering the, uh, in fact, more so perhaps for Arsenal as well, considering the situation they find themselves in in the league. But as I say, do drop the video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell ticked. And uh, I'll stop my lengthy intro now. And hopefully you guys will see a goal scoring highlight for Leeds United sooner rather than later. And the line to Sam Maxima. Tyler Roberts is there. Renato to Tyler Adams. Can we get this with a 1 2 maybe? In on goal, out of his feet there all, and just about to pull the trigger. Well blocked by the defender. Martinelli's pace actually could be quite difficult to play against here. I'm surprised they're playing him ahead of Voland, but maybe they've rotated slightly because of the league, as we mentioned. Here's Orsolini. Oh, he did look for Martinelli there. That's really well worked. They're in here, Arsenal. They lead here, Arsenal. Oh, man, I wonder why they're playing Martinelli, not Voland. It's because he's going to score goals, Chez. That's why they're playing him over Martinelli, or over Voland even. Gabriel Martinelli makes it Arsenal 1, Leeds United 0. Lovely little back heel, a fancy flare pass, a through ball, and a first time shot. Not the start we needed at Wembley. There goes my 3 0 prediction right out the window after 19 minutes. Time to turn it up a notch. I see it down the line. Marlon will keep it in. All out. Out his feet well, but Diego Carlos is just too strong. Adley, and he's looked through that gap for David Neres, who will get in behind Malassia. Bayerine, he's got Neres there again, and he's looked for him. Where's he going to go? He's forced himself down a blind alley here. Has still managed to squeeze in across. Engel tips it away. Under pressure, Joe Willock will close the ball down. That's a decent ball by Tierney, but Tyler Adams heads away. Willock gets it back into the box here to Saka. And back to Martinelli, across to Orsolini, and Arsenal lead by two. Half an hour played, and this cup final is going against us. My 3-0 for me might also end up 3-0 for them, yet. So Maxi Matt has turned well there to get away from Kieran Tierney. Roberts, who's all out, and there's Tyler Adams. And if all on out wide is available, but I could use Roberts and then look for all out. Oh, what an interception from Kieran Tierney. Oh, and they're giving it away. No, Bearing wins it back again. That was a brilliant opportunity for us to get a goal back before half time. Oh, if only that through would have made it through. All out definitely would have put that away. Arsenal have played really good flowing football here. We got hammered by Leicester in the last episode by five goals to one. And then squeaked two or three or oh, not three surely oh how's that gone in at the near post we can't help but concede goals right now at Leeds United I can't believe it that's I mean he's on his way across it's just oh, impossibly accurate and powerful from Saka I said I might win this by three goals to nil I am three nil down and we're not even at half-time after conceding five to Leicester and two to Trabzon Sport. We've now conceded three to Arsenal inside 45 minutes. Um, uh, yeah. I don't really know how to respond to this so far. I still feel like it's the right thing to do to play, or it was the right thing to do to play with this more tired eleven. 
I'd rather lose this game and still challenge for the Premier League title and the Europa League, but that doesn't make this any easier to take. 3-0 to Arsenal at half-time. The only three shots of the entire game. We need an Istanbul-style comeback. I've also made three changes at half-time. Jamie Shackleton, Jared Bowen and Yusuf Fatal are coming on. Hopefully to uh, give us some form of turnaround here. I can't say as I'm confident now. I was perhaps too confident prior to the start of the game. And that might well have been my undoing. A little bit of complacency against Arsenal. Just because they've got a 71 rated goalkeeper doesn't mean their offence... Oh, come on, Renato. Show some strength. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every single shot they've had has gone in. It's... Oh, no, he's offside. I mean, uh, the point still stands. Every single shot they've had has gone in. And I genuinely thought that was onside. I didn't realise he was the wrong side of the line. Renato should have shown better strength, to be fair. Oh, dearie me. We could possibly have been 4-0 down. It is still just the three. Marlon will drag that back and look for Orlan in that space. And look for Renato and it's given away. Get there, Tyler. Well up. He's headed that across nicely to Hakimi, who has Bowen. Shackleton, Orlan. No, I tried to keep that away from the defender with the first touch. And he's actually taking it closer to the defender with his first touch. Oh, footwork from Orsolini. That was disgusting, Adley. Into Neres. As time ticks away, we are getting further and further away from a potential comeback here. Adley. Back to Willock. Oh, I couldn't quite intercept it. And Saka's in again. Oh, no. It's okay. They finally had a shot that hasn't gone into the back of the net. Maybe I could have a shot of my own. Every single, every single time I try and play a ball through... It just gets picked off by a defender. And again, I haven't been able to find my final ball. And every time I've tried to create a chance, I haven't quite been able to get my shot off. I am yet to have a single shot in this final. Adley. Willock. Through the gap. Picked off by Hakimi. Bowen. Forward to Orlan. Round the corner to Tyler Adams, who's getting away from the defenders here. Oh my god, close down quickly though. Ball nicely into Orlan. Dinked over the top. I'm not sure if Marlon was onside. He wasn't. My first shot of the game. And it's offside. And even if it had gone in, it wouldn't have counted. Hey, 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 hey. Let's keep this going. Keep the pressure on. And it will be a remarkable turnaround now with 22 minutes to go. Willock. He's got Orsolini there. Oh, he's gone the whole way. Joe Willock. Game over. Um, I don't have a response, really. They're getting payback for when we smashed them in the lead by five goals to one. When they had Maitland-Niles in goal, we only won by a goal to nil. Last time they had Matt Macy in goal... Last season, or was it earlier this season? I think it was last season. We beat them by five goals to one. They are now 4-0 up against me here in this cup final and strolling to it too. We just haven't created barely anything at all. This proves just how important stamina actually is. I, before the game, I genuinely think, or genuinely thought, not having as much stamina wouldn't cause me as many problems as it has. But clearly, it's not just about individual scenarios like that where you're running 1v1 with someone. Oh, did he just scoop that? No. It's all over the field that it's it's mattering. The fact that players aren't able to be in the right position away from having possession or aren't able to keep up with defensive runs as well. Shackleton with a nice turn. Marlon, there's a lot of people in the way here. Orlan oh, oh, tries to shoot and it gets taken away from him. Sadio Mane off the bench here for Arsenal. I didn't realise they'd signed him, to be honest. I thought he was still at Liverpool. Orsolini out to Vargas. And this is almost certainly the worst one-off cup final special I have ever had in a career mode save. In fact, I am certain it's the worst one-off final special I've ever had in a career mode save. Fair... 
play Arsenal. You deserved that. Uh, right. I think what I might do is Sim, Barnsley and Cardiff in today's episode just to uh, hopefully boost our mood a bit. Because that was um, not good. That was not good. I think there's the only way to phrase that. We'll, uh, we'll be respectful and we'll wait for them to lift the trophy. I don't like it when fans leave before the, uh, the team lifts the trophy at cup finals. You've got to show respect to your opponent. And fair play to Arsenal for, uh, for rising to the challenge and performing very well. They didn't have many chances, but every chance they did have, they took. Rob Holding lifts the Carabao Cup for Arsenal. They had five shots on goal. All five ended up in the back of the net. It's just that one of them was offside. When a team is that clinical, it doesn't matter how many chances I created, I was never going to come back from that. And in the end, I only created two of my own. Every single shot they had went in. But I can't complain. I didn't create enough chances for even if all of my shots went in, I still would have lost 4-2. So, no Carabao Cup. Uh, no Carabao Cup to be added to our trophy room this season. Nothing's for granted. And I did take Arsenal for granted. They were the better team, I can't say anything else. I did take them for granted there. I genuinely thought, and I genuinely got complacent. I thought that would be a simple, straightforward victory for us. And... Uh, yeah, it was anything but, wasn't it? Absolutely anything but. Stefan Engel was the last one we did, so we shall train. Can we Jamie Shackleton get up to 83 rated? Not quite. His agility goes up to 91. He's not quite there yet. So will Sim Barnsley to Curry sold. Confirmation of the sale to Manchester United for 24.6. 21 million of which will be added to our transfer budget for next season. Not going to bother with the press conference here. We shall just simulate with Barnsley. Uh, or simulate Barnsley with the rotated 11 and maybe it's me getting complacent again but we should come away with victory in this one I should have been much better in the last one wow Forrest Green getting a money spinning tie away from home against Tottenham Hotspur in the FA Cup John Morris gets a goal Emerson picks up a knock and Malassia comes on Cooney makes it 3-0 straightforward victory for us here then not to worry at all about going out of the FA Cup although Calvin Phillips getting himself sent off certainly hasn't helped it's going to be a straightforward 5-0 win there. Tottenham with 3-0 up against Forest Green last we saw there. And two months Emerson's out for. Fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Exactly what I wanted to hear. Well, that's the six foot seven price. You can go onto the bench then, Mr. Price. And we are going to be uh, missing Calvin Phillips for a game as well. But we can just... Uh, Auto replace him on the bench. That's not too much of an issue. Right, let's sim Cardiff then. We should win this one. Fuck. Team's not fully fit again. We'll sim this and then we'll end the episode. And tomorrow we'll have both legs against uh, Sporting Lisbon, depending on actually, depending actually on when the next round of the FA Cup's drawn. And then it'll be Liverpool. Was it Liverpool in the league? Yeah, Liverpool in the league. And we've got Everton here. So I'll play... Well, Sim Cardiff now. I'll play the first leg against Sporting tomorrow. I'll play Everton. And then hopefully we can do what we did in the previous rounds of two-legged competition where we can Sim one and play the other. Maybe I'll Sim the first one. Is that the away leg or the home leg? If it's the home leg, it's the away leg. I'll sim one of the sporting games and we'll play the, these two. But for now, let's sim this one against Cardiff. We'll auto replace Calvin Phillips on the bench. That's not too much of an issue. And this one should be a straightforward victory as well. I would like to think. Renato Sanchez gives us a 1-0 lead. Proving that he is worth keeping at the club and we definitely shouldn't have signed uh, Awa. Marlon makes it 2 and it's going to be a straightforward victory. Marlon makes it three, in fact. And can he finish his hat-trick before the end of the game? 
Yes, he can. <laughs> Almost as I finish saying exactly that, he makes it 4-0. Solid victory for us. We're looking good in the league still. Right, Sporting Lisbon away. Do I play the first leg or sim? Maybe I sim this leg. Yeah, let's do it. Let's sim this first leg and then if there's something that needs doing in the second leg, we can do it. Sim transfer offer for Calvin Phillips. No. Arsenal. Well, you can have a goalkeeper if you want, Arsenal. We'll sim the first leg against Sporting with the full strength side. Rotate and play against Everton and then probably rotate the 11 or play with that rotated 11 again against Sporting in the second leg, depending on what happens in this tie. And then we can take on Liverpool with a full strength 11 after that. Rodriguez gives Sporting a 1-0 lead. We might have to do it the other way around. We'll play it by ear, but hopefully we can get ourselves back into this. Marlon gets us an equaliser and an away goal. Dumbia gets them back in front, though. Can we equalise again? Marlon with a yellow card, not a goal. Can we equalise late on? We can. Malassia, big goal from him. He doesn't score many. But a 2-2 draw in the first leg against Sporting Lisbon. We will take that. I'm glad you're happy, Erling. But you haven't scored too many recently. I'd very much like you to get back to scoring ways, if you don't mind. A loan offer for price, which we shall reject. Right. Tomorrow, we shall start with the FA Cup game quarterfinal against Everton. Then it'll be Sporting and Liverpool to end the episode and the month. Thank you very much for watching today. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And with that notification bell ticks, so you don't miss an episode. And as I say, please do continue to show your support on the series. But for now... To a very disappointing cup final, I'll see you tomorrow for hopefully better football.